and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schultz, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. This sounds a little bit crazy, Brad, but we're going to show you how to add two inches to your height in one day. Bob! That, that sounds a little specious to me. Yeah, but Bob, you're going to find out you can do it. All right. We're going to prove it. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on a stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com because we're always giving something away. Go to the giveaway section. This week, we're giving away... You want to grab one? Oh, Bob? absolutely. We're giving Bob. away the Booyah stick. And if it's not great to have one, it's all great to say the name. Yeah, Booyah. Booyah. Uh, go to Bob and Brad on Facebook, and the contest will be pinned to the top of the page. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program each day. All right, Brad, snake oil salesman. Yeah. How, how does this work? Actually, Bob, there's no real big. There's no magic here, but it's really important, and it's really cr critical, and it's going to help your daily life. First of all, now this is one most people aren't aware of. You're going to gain approximately one centimeter in height from when you go to bed to when you wake up in the morning. And what that is from is imbibition. 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 So imbibition is a term that is used to describe what happens to your discs. Can you get this, Mike? If we look at the discs. The discs are between the Ooh. vertebrae. Yep, between, between the each bones. vertebra. And each disc has fluid in it. And when you lay down at night. When you lie down at night. Lie down. Thank you, Bob. The discs imbibe, or actually they absorb fluid from your body. And then in the daytime, when you stand, the body weight squishes down and each disc pushes that fluid out. And there's a very good functional reason for that. It keeps the disc alive and healthy. Yes. Uh, the nutrients are in the bodily fluid around the disc. It sucks that in. There's neat nutrients are used for the disc to stay healthy. And then the waste products in that fluid um, during the day, they push out. So every day you go up and down approximately one centimeter. It depends on, on how tall. Bob maybe goes a little more than a centimeter. And That's right. I have a lot of discs. Right. No, we all have the same amount of discs normally. But, uh, you know, just... Uh, I had to say something. Largest, yeah. So the next thing. Now, this is something everyone can do just like that. Right. As your, your height. And what correct, what uh, dominates your height? Posture. 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 And so many of us, including Bob and I, find ourselves we have with to work on this poor posture. So what we have here is on our nice white wall is a mark. And the first mark to the top of this line is where Bob stands. Bob, can you demonstrate? Sure. And it's funny, you know, Brad, when we first started doing videos, we uh, we we started realizing how bad our posture was. <laughs> yeah. So here Bob's got head forward posture. He's rounded in the spine. He's got this posterior pelvic tilt that's making things drop all yeah, these i'm locking my knees actually yeah i'm not bending them because that could make me shorter but yeah yeah so that would be I'm cheating locking my knees. everything else is going on with the spine and that puts a lot of pressure pressure on the spine the neck it causes pain it causes knots and i don't look good either and yeah you don't look good bob okay here we go so right there you can see it lines up with the top of that mark now bob can you correct your posture there we go Two inches. We did it. We made it. And Bob, you look better now. I look You're better. taller. I look more confident. Yes. I'm going to get that job interview. Right. Because you know we you just did the video, we did on, the video on, on power posing. Power posing and yep. power posture. Yes. And as you might well suspect. If you have poor posture like that over time, you're going to end up with neck pain, oh, right. upper back pain, yep. even shoulder pain, yep. uh, Breathe, low back breathing pain. Breathing problems. Breathing problems. There, there's nothing good from poor posture. No, there really is not. So we want you to correct your posture. We'll, we'll show you a couple ways to do it. Yeah, they're easy. All you need is a wall for sure. a couple of these. You simply go back up against the wall, take your shoulders, bring them back, make sure your buttocks is touching their shoulders back. 
chin in, but you know, don't look up. Keep the chin down here, so we call that that chin tuck. And you can just do scapular retractions and hands up against the wall is one option. And you'll know, do that five times. Do that every hour. Do that every hour for one day. Put it on your cell phone. Make maybe we should have a posture app. That's, That's right. a good idea. But uh, you, now, what you may find also is some of you probably can't get your head back even yet. That's very true. You're, you're going to want to work your way back there, and and you'll be able to denote your progress by seeing how far you are from the wall the first day, and then continue to work on this and see if you can get to the point where your head is back without your head like this. Right. Up. You so, probably have to have someone, and I've done with, with this with patients. I yeah. will measure how far they cannot get their head to the wall. Say it might be an inch the first day, and after a week of doing that, maybe they can get a half inch from the wall. It's very motivating. Yeah, to, you know, exactly. To make progress. So that's one exercise. Now, uh, the wall angel. You want yes. to show the wall angel, Sure. Bob? Basically, it's the same thing. You're going to get in position here, chin tuck. If you can get the head up against the wall, do it. Now you're going to put the hands out. Palms forward, yep. and you're just going to do some angels, just like you used to do in the yellow snow. Not the yellow snow, the white snow. <laughs> you probably went for the yellow <laughs> snow. But oh. what you're going to find is as you get up to here, it gets harder and harder. I'm starting to see the, ball, the, <laughs> the wood here too, but you know what I mean? I, I can't keep my elbows back right? because right. I'm stretching here. My shoulder, My upper back is not as stretched out as it should be. So you want to go as far as you can, keeping them elbows up against the wall. This is where you really feel it, Brad, where yeah. you really feel the stretch. You may start with um, your elbows coming off the wall down here, but as you work on it, like like mine, Bob's much more flexible. I have tight shoulders. I get to here, and once I get above there, uh, uh, and I've, we've got there's so many options for good posture. We're just going to show is. you a few. We, we just thought we'd show you that you can actually take a tennis ball. Mm -hmm. oh, do we have one nearby, Brian, or not? Well, Bob. Probably don't. No, uh, we, not you today. Can take the tennis ball and roll. Is it over there? Lacrosse ball. Lacrosse ball. That's where I'm from, is lacrosse. That's right. Brad's from lacrosse. Here you go. So, well, not lacrosse rigid. ball or tennis ball. And this one, I think, is a great one, Brad, because a lot of your posture problems, do you mind coming here? Oh, sure. A lot of posture problems are right here. That's where the roundness occurs. So if you put a ball on the side of the spine, don't put it on the spine, put it on the side of the spine, and you can work like this, six different spots here, all the way up and down the spine, off the spine, but just to the side of it. And you can roll on it. Get it in position like this, and you can start up against the wall first because sure. it ends up being a little bit intense for you, especially yeah. if you're just starting. And then eventually, if you can, you can lie on the floor sure. and, and roll on the ball. I do something similar to this every day, and I think this has been the best thing, the number one thing that's helped my posture. Plus, it, it gets those knots out of those muscles. It knots out feels of, good. Yep, it feels good, and it just... Whenever I get done, I then I go for a run. I'm yeah. like, I feel like I'm running really straight up and down, but I probably run. Well, you're two inches taller. Bob. I'm two inches taller than you. So. <laughs> the neighbors <laughs> notice that, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, the neighbors, uh, by the way, make fun of me on my bike because my bike is so tired. <laughs> Sorry, I look so stupid. Well, they probably make fun of you for other reasons. Yeah, there's too. a whole host of reasons they can make fun of me. Bob's so. coming. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, anything else you want to well, include? Well, I did, you know, if you got... Oh, it's a, the booyah stick. The booyah yeah, stick. This is our giveaway this week. Why don't you show a few things with that? Right. And, you know, you, you don't have to have a booyah. You can use any five-foot-long stick. Usually works well. Or a broom stick. We're going to put that so my head touches. It, can you point where it's touching? Sure. It might be hard to see. Got three points of contact. Good. We got the head, mid-back, and low back. Yeah, or the pelvis. And that... That then you're in good posture. Yeah. Bring your shoulders back. And then, you know, you can do some exercises, getting used to some body movement while you're doing that. And it's good muscle memory for body mechanics for bending to lift things up. So it's a it's a yeah. win win. Brad, do you mind giving me that? Oh. You know, if I found anything out that with you're gonna realize that a lot of times your posture was a lot worse than you think it is. A lot sometimes <laughs> people film you, like we said when we first started filming ourselves, that's when we realized right. it. I had a friend that was at work, and a security camera picked up him. Oh, and he goes, yeah. "Who's that old man?" And it was him. So another stretch I like. I like just taking the the, the booyah stick, Brad, and taking it up, and then going back like this and squeezing the shoulder blades together. Yeah. This is just a great stretch here. 
show from a profile once. If, if you just do this, just make sure the yeah. tendency of your head can go forward because right. you're trying to get away from the stick. Yeah, you want to make sure you're keeping your head yeah. back. And if you're hitting your head, you're not, you don't have the posture right yet. You're not getting the arms back far right. enough. It, oh. And this, you know, until you get stretched out, you may not be able to do it. I'm a little tighter on this. I, I like this one, though, especially when you get down here. It can work that. That's just amazing what a little thing like this can really work. Right. You can use so a broom handle if, if that's, you know, what right. you have around. Yep. Just give it a try. Remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Except for. A broken heart. But. We're working on it. We're working on it. Exactly right. We finally better get to the results. <laughs>